I'm gonna set you free, little guys. But first, I'm gonna name you. First, there's Johnny. Then there's Bill. Then there's Alfred. Wait, why just guy names? They're ladies. <laughs> Welcome, what's going on? Oh, hey, howdy doody. I'm an American and I am doing Amazon. That was the worst intro I've ever shot in my life. Guys, what's going on? I'm Matthias and today we are doing 10 strange things on Amazon. Brian went on Amazon and he found 10 of the weirdest things. Say hello, Brian. Hello, that's all you asked for. You and finally you did it. Yes. High five, dude. Make sure you click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified when I upload videos because when I upload videos, I'll be commenting back for the first 30 minutes of every channel video ever. I got distracted, what happened? I won't comment back to every comment. That's impossible. Mm -hmm. Harakos Labs Zombie Jerky Teriyaki. Oh, what? Ew. It's beef jerky, delicious. I like how this number two was like, don't worry, it's beef jerky, still buy it. 13 grams of protein and only one gram of fat. It has significant nutritional as well as novelty value. Ugh. Is it free range zombie meat? <laughs> Sadly, no, the free range zombie is a thing of the past. If I eat zombie jerky, will I turn into a zombie? Only if you buy the spice jerky. It has some bite left to it. <laughs> Way better than homemade zombie jerky. For years now, I've been forced to purchase zombie meat off a guy in the Walmart parking lot and making the jerky is a whole other story. I never thought to add teriyaki. <laughs> Although the jerky itself was very tasty, I could only give it four stars because after consuming this tasty treat, I now hunger for human brains. I am now torn between what could be tastier, this jerky or my neighbor's brain. Uh, add to cart. Oh, what? That is green, guys. That is super green. Ew, what? Is oh, that's part of the packaging. I was like, why is it dirty, dude? They really went all out on this. Specimen name, zombie jerky. Artificial green color, check. Tastes yummy, check. Chunks, check. Something is off about this. Like why would they, why would they say artificial green color, check. You know, usually when they have artificial coloring in foods, it's like a bad thing. You don't wanna like advertise that you have artificial coloring, right? But for this instance, the, I think they're legit worried that people are gonna think like, it's actually zombie moldy or like moldy or something. Bad. Yeah, so they're just like, oh, it's artificial. Everyone's like, oh, then I'll buy it. <laughs> not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Although, I try to make a point of not eating too many artificial colors, unless it's in gummy snacks. <laughs> YJ Mo you 13 13 13 speed cube puzzle black. That is a Rubik's cube for the genius. Okay, let's be honest. Most of us can't do a Rubik's cube. Can you? Actually, let me rephrase that. Most of us don't care enough to do a Rubik's cube. I'm sure that many of us can do it if we're patient enough or if you learn the technique. I don't understand why, like this is impressive. If you can do that, that's impressive. How mad would you be if it came like this? Already mixed up. Already mixed up. You'd be like, no, never. I'm never gonna get it back to the original state. I paid less for a PS3. Really? 309. What? Wait, did I miss something? Oh my gosh, $249. 309? What would cost so much about a Rubik's Cube made out of plastic? I hate this cube, it's 309. And a 17 by 17 is 275. Like, bruh, bring down the effing price, you money stealing. I'm siding with the person charging 309. Like, you can charge whatever you want. Like, they don't have to give you anything. <laughs> these entitled buy. people in this country these days. My 21 year old grandson has worked many speed cubes. <laughs> Your 21 year old grandson might want to get a date. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Fashion first aids, women's subtle butt, disposable gas neutralizers, five piece set, filter odors from intestinal gas, thin and discreet. Can you imagine if it wasn't discreet? You just had like this big pad in your butt. Can these be taped to one's butt at night so the bed does not become a Dutch oven? <laughs> How long do they last? Certainly, I don't know, but I use one for three days. <gasps> 
and the bag contains five patches, but I can tell you that they really work. Oh, can you imagine using it for three days in a row? Dude, how much farts are stored in there? Big promise, no result. Doesn't work, notice zero difference, complete waste of money. On top of that, uncomfortable too. Very disappointed since the packaging makes such bold claims. Worthless, I think these are more of a gag gift bought for my mother who has IBS and they did nothing to help cover the noxious fumes. Returned them immediately. Oh, you returned them? Oh man, <laughs> could you imagine dude, the company's like, Okay, just throw them away. We don't need them back. Just throw them away. Let's buy it. I'm gonna add to cart. Subtle butt. SBD. Breaking wind. Cut the cheese. Subtle butt. Disposable gas neutralizers. Fashion first aid. Do you put this on the outside of your pants? Put it on the outside. You're just like, bam. What? It's fashionable to have the subtle butt. When you're done wearing subtle butt, remove and discard it. If adhesive traces remain, use a damp cloth for removal. Wow. Burp into it. It's not gonna work. Okay, look, we got two little adhesive strips and then the carbon filter. I don't have flatulent issues. Wow, say that five times fast. Flatulent issues, flatulent issues, flatulent issues. Flatulent? Flatulent. <laughs> nice, he couldn't do it. Here, smell it. Dude, these were used. Stop. <laughs> World's okay as dad coffee mug. 11 ounce nice motivational inspiration. I see. You wanted to get this for me, didn't you? You think you are a better dad than me. Well, you've had more experience. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Printed on Biff sides. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> printed on Biff sides. Oh, is it printed on Biff sides? <laughs> Premium printing quality on Biff sides. Please. Three stars. The wording smears when washed if you rub it. <laughs> Fun Father's Day gift. Other than that, it's a mug. You drink from it. I'm not gonna get it, but one day, Brian, I'll get it for you. Oh, what the heck is this? Pull my finger fart pen? Toy. <laughs> if farts are funny, this is the pen for you. I spent a fortune on new batteries because I thought maybe the ones that came in it were bad and that did the same thing. This pen drained the batteries so quickly it wasn't even worth buying. Pissed rip off. Whoa, dude, chill. Totally pissed. Came with no box or instructions. The stickers were hard to get off and left sticky residue. And the pen did not work. Is my pen defective? Got this as a gift for my sis. Don't ask. <laughs> and when it arrived, the tip of the pen is not down. Fiddled around with it, but no go. <laughs> Forget it, dude. Enough reading the reviews. I'm just gonna buy it and test it out for myself. Add to cart. Oh, so weird. Oh, why do they put the stickers on it? Absolutely. Funny party hats, fart pens is what it says on there. How do I get the you pen gotta, out? You gotta take the sticker off. I don't think so. Oh, what? It works. Look, I'm gonna pull it. There we go. Wow, that's really awkward. You have to like push that back down in there to get the pen out. I'm gonna go around the office and ask the guys to pull my finger. I guarantee you they're gonna be weirded out by this. They're not even gonna touch it. They're gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> Cause it does not look like a finger. Not great farts. Without even thinking, I want you to pull my finger. Dude, let go, dude. <laughs> you perv. Hey, Kevin. Where are all the mics? Pull my finger, dude. See, he said he was weirded out for a second. Really? It'd be funny if it has like a smell to it. It does smell it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Glow in the dark toilet paper. Wow, one star. Not great reviews. Why would you want to touch that to your butt though? Will it make your butthole glow in the dark? <gasps> no. No glow and small size. The size of the roll was smaller than average and never produced a glow. The texture was stiff and dry. Not fun at all. <laughs> What were they expecting though? Like when they're wiping themselves, they're like, oh, so much fun. I'm so happy I'm glowing now. Down there. Using this product is a real bummer. Fireflies are better application of bioluminescence. Better to wait for the crack of dawn if you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> this product is completely fake. I even held it under a light bulb for five minutes, which often makes glow in the dark 
items glow more brightly and it did nothing. Also, it's like wiping with three bar. Isn't that good though? To get off all the stuff? I feel like hurt and like cut you. Hey man, if it gets you clean, I'm down to... Then you got scabs there. Spleen, I, don't, I couldn't rhyme, rhyme it. I'm gonna pass, it's a pass. Boom, pass. Boyfriend pillow. Companion pillow with mushy microbeads. What? Soft and comfortable body pillow. Best sleeping bedmate for lonely people. <laughs> Feel the hug of a real man without the snoring, smell, tossing, or turning. I don't smell at night. Sorry. Or at least Amanda's nose is bad enough where it doesn't detect it. Oh, no, that's just sad. Why does she need a boyfriend pillow? She could get a guy. What's and it? for some reason, she's letting this boyfriend pillow get to first base. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> what the heck, dude? She's all like on board with it. And then second base. <laughs> Or is that third base? Oh. I don't even know the bases. Yeah, it's I... been so long. <laughs> dude, look at those eyes, dude. Those wandering eyes, dude. She's like, this boyfriend pillow is everything I wanted it to be. Never curl up on the bed alone again with this comfortable arm that wraps around you as if to say, as if to say what? I thought you messed up at first. No, <laughs> I didn't. As if to say, <laughs> This is very small, more like a toy for a small child. Very disappointed. For the price, I was really expecting standard size pillow. Ambitious cat lady. <laughs> My BF ended things, so I bought this as a pacifier. He and I reconciled. I returned the unused pillow. We broke up again. Now I'm out a pillow and a guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Add to cart. Wow, it's not that big, is it? It doesn't seem like it'd be my size. It's got a front pocket. That's super convenient, man. You could really utilize that. Oh, that's weird. That's not how my arms feel. <laughs> Whoa, hey, dude. <laughs> Chill. Am I right? Buy me dinner first. Make it more realistic. Oh, it's actually a pocket. Oh, my boyfriend's always on his phone. Okay, let's take a nap here. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, this is nice. Is it? Yeah, this is nice. Having a pillow go all the way around your neck kind of like supports it. And this is probably actually more comfortable than an actual human. Ha <laughs> ha! High five, Brian. Oh, too slow! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Westminster butt face towel, 100% cotton. Ends the confusion of which side to use. Perfect for the gift for the bachelor in your life. This is just geared towards men because they think men never wash their towels. Well, I got news for you. They're probably right. Tiny! This item is only about half the size that is shown in the listing photo and it also very feels very cheaply made. Half the size of the photo? Does that mean it's this big? Because on my screen it's this big. Just plain booty. This towel is a total booty and false advertisement from the photo you would think that this is a huge plush beach sized towel of heavy weight. <laughs> Think again! Everyone's like, wow, what the heck? It's not as advertised. Bigger, please. I want to pass. We're passing. I don't want it. Sorry. 150 live ladybugs. Good bugs. Ladybugs. Do you have ladybugs? Yeah, I got ladybugs. No, no, no. Good bugs. You know, the good ones. I don't want the mean ones, okay? Pre-fed! Aw, 150 ladybugs covers approximately a small yard or a birthday party. Ladybugs are good bugs for kids. What's a good bug? No, don't play with that spider, Johnny. Play with a good bug. <laughs> play with a good bug. Not so alive. Not the best received. I ordered 150 and got about 12 that are alive. Nowhere near 150 in the package. Took my money and send a bad product. Uh-oh, ladybugs were dead. Uh-oh, waste of money. Ladybugs died immediately. Uh-oh. All right, well. Let us find out on our own. Add the cart. Let's not keep them in captivity. Let's set them free. It stinks. It stinks? I'm actually qu quite worried. Oh wow, they came with, oh. Oh, look at that, they're all moving in there. There's tons. There's got, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, they're good bugs. Oh, such good bugs. Whoa, I'm gonna set you free, little guys. But first I'm gonna name you. First there's Johnny, then there's Bill, then there's Alfred. Wait, why just guy names? They're ladies. <laughs> Let's go set him free, dude. You said 150, right? Yes. 
Read that number. Wait, what? It says there's a thousand five hundred in here. How did I miss that? Actually, Guys, check this out. I want to show you something. Oh, oh, dude, are live they alive? ladybugs. What? We're gonna set them free right now. I'm going to set you free, my little bugs. My little bugs. They're coming out. Woo! I don't know why I'm getting scared of them. It's just <laughs> they're I, I good think, bugs. I know they're good bugs. It's friendly good bugs. I, I think the issue more is the fact that there's so many of them that kind of creeps me out a little bit. Oh my gosh. You, you get out. A couple of them are going out. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys, dude. They're about to start flying away, man. Look at this, look, go get down in there. Get out, dude. I'm helping the environment. That's what I'm doing. You could see a bunch of dead ones falling out. That's not my fault, I was trying to save them. Or maybe I was supporting the bad, bad people that were imprisoning them. I'm not sure, maybe they farmed them. Who knows, really. All I know is I'm trying to do a good thing, okay? Poop like a champion. Highest fiber cereal. Are they like little poop shapes or something? What's the deal here? <laughs> poop like a champ, not eat poop. Oh, they're like little pellets. Poop pellets. Look at that, dude. You can put your poop in a parfait, a poop parfait. This is not mere cereal. It is the ultimate colon cleansing formula with a stupendous amount of soluble and insoluble fiber. Insoluble to build a fast moving book and soluble to scrub out your squeaky clean colon. Does it even taste good with milk on it? Yes, plus I always throw in some fresh fruit. Use this whenever you know you didn't eat enough veggies. It doesn't even taste very good. I recently bought this to help regulate my bowel movements. Why so much poop stuff today, Brian? Brian's got a poop thing going on here. These are super gross. They tasted like sawdust and floating milk. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on poop like a champion. No offense, but I don't like eating things that are labeled poop. Guys, make sure you check out this 10 weird tech items that will waste your money where I try a little ear thing that you can see on the thumbnail right there that's supposed to help you not drive while you're sleepy. Also, click up there to subscribe because we make videos three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Cool, yay, high five, subscribe.